Good morning everybody. Welcome to the Monday Rewind on September the 18th, 2017. And uh, here at Paulie's Plantation, looking forward to the fall. Um, I hope all these hurricanes get out of here and stop bothering us. Um, Monday Rewind, we're talking about last week's tournaments and of course the biggest one was the FedEx Cup playoffs, the third one in Chicago. And two weeks ago at the Dell in Boston, uh, Mark Leishman shot a 30 on the front nine to get into the lead and then he shot a 40 on the back nine and really kind of collapsed. I was so pleased to see him hold on, play well on the back nine. Uh, he deserves a win. He's been knocking on the door for quite a while. And so congratulations to Mark Lishman. Ricky Fowler put up a really good show and uh, hung in there. But Lishman's game, particularly the last five holes, he made four birdies in the last five holes just to really close it out. When Ricky had got within two, he said, OK, I've got to close this out. And he did. So next week, of course, is the Tour Championship in Atlanta and uh, the top 30 players from uh, the FedEx Cup rankings all moved to Atlanta. Uh, I was disappointed in two players. Of course, uh, one of my fellow countrymen, Louis Wistason, he finished 31st. So he just missed by not even a full shot. And then Phil Mickelson missed by a shot as well. And he finished 33rd, I think. So I would like to have seen those two guys in the in the tour championships, but that's not to be. On the European tour, uh, a maiden win for uh, Romain Wattel. Uh, he is uh, a French player that has been around for many, many years. Uh, he's had some second place finishes. He's had a few top tens. He's, he's, he's always been knocking on the door, couldn't quite make it. And in the uh, Dutch Open in Holland, he closed with a final round uh, of 66 to win the Dutch Open and have his maiden win. So congratulations to him. Next week will be the Portuguese Open uh, and uh, there'll be a full European Tour uh, contingent there because this week in the Tour Championship, you know, a lot of the players were playing there. Those that didn't make it into the top 30 will go back and play in that Portuguese Open. LPGA was in France, the Evian Masters, now a major championship for the ladies. And Anna Norquist came from nowhere, you know, with nine holes to play, she wasn't even in the conversation. And uh, she rattled off a few birdies on that back nine and got into a playoff. And she got in with Brittany Altamore. Now, Pay attention to this name, folks. Uh, this is an American girl. Altamore sounds more Italian, maybe, but she is an American player that uh, has not been around very long. The last year, she's had a couple of top tens, and so she's, her game's starting to get better. But in that final nine holes, I was really impressed with the maturity in which she played. She didn't back down. She shot 66 in that final round to get into the playoff. Um, Lydia Ko and uh, uh, Catherine Kirk, who are more experienced players, faltered on the last hole, made bogeys and did not get into the playoff. They needed pass to get into the playoff. And so it was a playoff between Anna Norquist and Brittany Altamore. Um, Brittany hit a very poor chip on 18. There was a mound that she had to go over. She hit it too soft. It came back down off the mound. She ended up making a double bogey and Anna had a two-footer for the victory, which um, gives that her second major championship. So congratulations to her as well. Senior Tour, Jerry Kelly. Second time in four weeks that he is. So these guys are, you know, coming off the uh, PGA Tour having a little bit of a break and now they turn 50 and they come on. They are now the young guns on the senior tour and two victories in four weeks is impressive. So congratulations to him. He beat out Lee Jansen, two time US Open winner. And uh, so that's the, the week uh, in golf. Tuesday, 
we're going to talk we're talking about troubleshot tuesday and i'm going to show you uh, one of the ladies in the tournament made a real rookie mistake with a little pitch shot and uh, ended up costing her not getting into the playoff i'm going to talk about that shot and how you can learn and not make a mistake on the wednesday we do rules and etiquette and for those of you that watched there was a big debacle with Sergio Garcia that took forever to finally figure out. I was reading last night on Facebook the comments and I felt I had to do this particular rules uh, question on Wednesday because a lot of people are really misinformed. They, they make comments on Facebook and they really have no idea what they're talking about. They don't know the rules and uh, people are saying oh they should change the rule well you can't go and change the rule every five minutes just because you didn't like what happened what Sergio did and what the rules official did was a hundred percent within the rules of golf and so I want to clarify that in everybody's head because when it was over even I was still slightly confused as to to what had happened so look forward to that on Wednesday Thursday we talk about technical Thursday we're going to talk about uh, technical parts of the golf swing Fitness Fridays, always I get a guest that will talk about fitness and how you can improve your, your flexibility and your strength in your golf swing. And then on Saturday is short game Saturday, and we're going to talk about chipping to a, a, a split level green. Um, when Brittany Altamore uh, hit her shot uh, short of the green, she had a little chip. She needed to chip in one putt to let the playoff continue, and she made a poor mistake in judgment and hit it into the mound and came back i want to show you what not to do in that situation where you have a, a steep rise and a split level green and of course i'll also show you what you have to do stay tuned <laughs>